Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will try to see the real time implementation where this unwind aggregation pipeline is best suitable for us. Let's say I am taking again the inventory. Inventory dot insert. I am inserting and here I will be having a name of shirts and the sizes available are it is an array which we are having as small and medium okay let's press enter and i am ha i am adding again the shirts so which are available l and xs and also the sis is also available so another set we are having and let's see add another one we are having m and xs and let's keep it like this okay so we are having like that and now again we insert another type db dot inventory dot insert one this time we will be having name hats and the sizes array xs and m xs and m insert another one had the same thing s and m insert another one with s and l like this that's it so now we will try to we will try to keep these two uh, these two things only if i try to do inventory db dot inventory dot aggregate so now we are here we are having the items shirts which are having uh, the different types of sizes so a small medium xs like this we are having and hats also we are having the different size xs medium small like that we are having now i want to group by these all the uh, items with their with their item name so here we are having shirts three places and hats three places right so let's try to group these all the shirts now if i try to do it db dot inventory dot aggregate of and here we can have an array and this time we'll try to do dollar group i am using dollar group and here dollar group so by which one we need to do underscore id with the names dollar name with the name and i want to get those sizes also so i want to push those sizes so i want to add those all sizes in an array so here i can add all sizes and in this one i will try to push these sizes dollar sizes okay if i try to see this output how it will look like let's try to see now here uh, make it as pretty now here what it is happening is we are having a hats and hats we are having xs m sm sl like this and these all are added as an uh, uh, these are uh, uh, added as an embedded array okay if you try to see as a as an array it has been added i don't want these all to be added as an array of items it needs to be added as in so destructure we need to destructure these items so that xs m s m these all added as an array of all sizes it should not be all sizes should not be added as something like area of area of area of like that it should not have a multi dimensional array so let's try to use this unwind operator now in this place unwind operator will be very useful for us so here we have a group and let's try to remove this all pretty and all those things oh so here we are having group and here press enter and i will try to use the unwind unwind i am using this unwind so path should be dollar sizes okay path should be dollar sizes okay let's try to do oh what happened here so un unwind unwind path should be dollar sizes so like this only right sorry we should not use it at the after grouping right we should use it at the uh, before grouping only we need to use it so that is my mistake so let's try to first let's try to destructure these things and here i can use uh, dollar unwind unwind of with dollar sizes okay first it will be destructured then we can group it if i try to press enter now see we are able to get xs m s m s l like this we are able to get all the items destructured and we are able to find that okay we are having a shirts which which we are having a sizes of s m l s x s s like this we are having but if you try to see here s is there small okay 
and again s has been added and again s has been added it has been duplicated why because if you try to see here we are having a shirts so in this small item is present and here it is present and here it is also present so because of that reason so we are getting you now when we try to group it these are all added as an array now what we are trying to do so it should not be added as an array of items like this it should be destructured and we have used the unwind aggregation pipeline so that we we got it like this now what i want to do is i want to remove the duplicate values so how can i remove the duplicate values is we already learned about, about this all array pipelines and all those things arrays operators when you try to see so push means it will automatically push if you try to use add to set add to set now it will try to push the elements into the array but if you have already a uh, duplicate it will not push it so that means it will add only the unique values if you try to press enter now you are able to see that okay sheds we are having the sheds and the sizes present in our uh, present in sheds are x s s l m n and hats are there and all the sizes present for the hats are x s s l and m so like this we can able to do it now if you want to do the sort by so here uh, sheds and hats are there right so if you want to do the sort by also we can do it for example here we are having dollar oh sorry we are use dollar add to set right and here i can use another one something like dollar sort so this is another pipeline so i want to sort it with underscore id and you can use the ascending order now if i try to press enter now this time see if you try to see hats came first and sheds came last so we have sorted it with the names also so this is how we can use an aggregation pipelines so now we are first we are destructuring the array and we are grouping the array with their names and we are sorting it with their names so like this we can use multiple options in order to use the aggregation pipeline so this is all about the aggregation pipeline so now we have learned about the uh, what is that one dollar match which is used to filter and we have used dollar project so and also we have uh, used this dollar group and now we have understood about this dollar unwind also this is all about this aggregation pipeline hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you